Good afternoon, I'm Jenny Ryan. And I'm Doug Emblidge. At first, children were thought to be largely immune to COVID. But the syndrome is changing that. Although rare, it is making some children very sick. Tanner Jubinville is live at Golisano Children's Hospital tonight. And Doug and Ginny, doctors have treated five children so far, and they're finding the syndrome appears to surge in communities that have a surge in COVID cases, which is why some doctors are calling this COVID Part 2. When nine-year-old Bobby Dean of Hornell was rushed to Galasano Children's Hospital, doctors first thought he had appendicitis, but that quickly changed. Then it became clear the longer he was in the hospital that uh, it wasn't really an abdominal problem other than it was just overall inflammation of his, of his um, body. Dean is now home and healthy, but doctors believe he suffered from a delayed syndrome now sickening children and teens called Pediatric Multisystem Inflammatory Syndrome. Symptoms are marked by a fever, rash, and swollen extremities. Obviously, uh, with the COVID pandemic, we're learning as we go along, and PMIS is something that's relatively new to us. Doctors are now racing to find out more about this syndrome, which is affecting children days after they recover from COVID-19. Though they say it's too soon to tell if there's an actual connection, they believe PMIS is a delayed overreaction by the immune system after it fights coronavirus. But what we know about PMIS is that it actually seems to happen after the infection has resolved. The child may never show those typical signs of the acute COVID infection like we've seen in hospitalized adults. Doctors don't expect it to be as widespread an issue as the actual coronavirus, but want parents to be vigilant of their children's health. Now that we have an understanding that there is a, um, a potential subsequent event that can happen um, around COVID infection, probably post-COVID infection, uh, we're going to have to really uh, watch uh, the evolution of this. Uh, doctors here say they do not believe this illness is contagious because it's not spread by the actual virus itself, but rather by one's immune response to the virus. They say it's too soon to tell if other children are more susceptible than others to this disease. Reporting live in Rochester, Tanner Jubinville, 13 Wham News. More than half the residents at a nursing home in Canandaigua have been diagnosed with coronavirus. According to the Ontario County Health Department, 24 of the 46 residents at the Elm Manor Nursing Home and Rehabilitation have the virus. In addition to those residents, two employees have tested positive. The County Health Department says Elm Manor is taking measures to prevent further spread. Rochester and the Finger